Well, I can. Is there someone in the parking lot? No. Only if someone's in the parking lot, is there? Oh, like in the morning. So okay. Sunday morning. Yeah. All right. Sing pretty, Paul. <laughs> There is power, there is real 
delight in you. We will praise you. We will worship. We will trust you and stand. I bow my knee 
where your blood was shed for me. There's no greater love than there is. You have overcome the grave. Your glory fills the highest place. What can separate me now? You tore the veil. You made a way. When you said that it is done, you tore the veil, you made a way. When you said that it is done, it is finished. the cross at the cross 
Rosie, would you come and share with us now tonight? Pastor Ro Rosalind Burton. Bless the Lord. Tired and sleepy, I am. It's awesome <laughs> to talk about the Lord yes. and His goodness and His grace towards us because He died and rose again. Hallelujah. Nobody that is dead cannot be re resurrected yeah. unless Jesus resurrect them. Yes. But Hallelujah. Jesus died and he rose again yeah. and tonight i want to greet you all in jesus name oh. and we are going to look at the seven word that jesus speak from the cross while he was on the cross he spoke seven things yes mm -hmm. and father we give you thanks tonight we give you glory and praise and honor we adore you, Lord. You're awesome. You're wonderful. You're great. You are almighty. You are all powerful. Lord God Almighty, you are the resurrected one. Hallelujah. And we honor you. We praise you. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We invite your presence, yes. mighty God, to be in our midst. Hallelujah. Touch each and every one and anoint them afresh. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that as these words leave my lips, mighty God, it will find place in the heart of your children that when they should have left from here, they will go home and meditate upon your word because it is your word, mighty God. You said your word is power. Your word is life, mighty God. I pray that you will anoint us, Lord, tonight. Oh, God, that when we should have lived, God Almighty, indeed, we will say it was good for us to be here. Hallelujah. Oh, God, let your word penetrate our system, our body, our soul, our spirit, and our mind. Holy Ghost of heaven. Hallelujah. Let oh, your word find root. Hallelujah. In the Lord. heart of your people. Yes, Mighty Lord. God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for all that you have done. We thank you tonight for all that you continue to do. We Lord thank Jesus. you, God Almighty, for continuing to heal your children, yes, children, Jesus. those who are sick and been afflicted with all sorts of things. I pray that you will continue to heal your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal their mind, heal their thoughts, heal their body. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Christ, hallelujah. We give you glory and praise yes, and Lord honor Jesus. tonight. Yes, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Anoint your word, mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ, give us receptive heart. Open up your word to our spirit and open up our spirit to your word. We ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The seven word from the cross. Hallelujah. The first one is from St. Luke 23 and verse 34. That's St. Luke 23 and verse 34. <clears throat> Somebody want to read it? Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. Amen. Father, forgive them. He was on the cross. He was nailed to the cross. Mm -hmm. Nailed in his hands, speared in his side, nailed in his feet. And what did he say? Father, 
forgive them for they know not yes. what they do. Father, forgive us. Hallelujah. Each time we do some things because we are not aware, we don't know what we are doing. You know, in those days, crucifixion was a common method of execution. Yeah. That the Romans would inflict on criminals. So it's not surprising that the Bible said two thieves was crucified with him. These were, there, these two, two thieves was put to death with Jesus. The soldier took them to the execution site. The soldiers, they took Jesus along with those two thieves to the execution site or the execution place or the place that is called Skull, which we are aware of, according to the Bible. They, they, there they crucified Jesus. Hallelujah. I can imagine, hallelujah, hallelujah, our Father, God of the universe, hallelujah, come down. And that was his mission. Hallelujah. He allowed them to do whatever they want to do because he was on a mission. The soldier think they have it all. Hallelujah. They think that he was just a mere man. They wasn't aware of the fact that he was God himself in the flesh. Hallelujah. And so they led him away. The Bible said to be crucified. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Although he was on the cross, he was praying for us. Mm -hmm. Jesus' reason is that when he was there and when he, he prayed for us and said, Father, forgive them, I think he remembered the purpose for which he came. He remembered us. He remembered the purpose why he came to earth. And I want us to understand that Jesus going to the cross, Jesus saying, Father, forgive us, is to open the door of divine forgiveness for us, for all who would receive him. Hallelujah. And so he prayed. He said those words, he prayed. He said, Father, forgive them. Forgive the executionists. Forgive all of those who ridicule me. Forgive them, Father, because they don't know. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It was for our forgiveness. Jesus was on the cross in pain. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ was in pain, but still he said, forgive them, forgive us, for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. Yet even as he pleaded for mercy for them, they gambled for his clothes, fulfilling the prophecy from Psalms 22, verse 18. And it reads thus, they parted my garments among them and cast lots upon me, upon my vesture. Brothers and sisters, he was fully God and he was fully man. Hallelujah. But because of his love towards us, he prayed for us in pain and the cross. The second word from the cross, St. Luke 23 and verse 43. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Nice. Hallelujah. When Jesus was on the cross and Jesus was praying for us, and the two thieves was there. Hallelujah. One was railing. Mm -hmm. 
saying if it, you are God, why you don't take us down and come down yourself? And he was there acting up. But the other one, he knew what he has done and he knew that he was guilty. Hallelujah. And he knew that Jesus was innocent. And so he looked over and he said those words. He said, Father, forgive me. Remember me when thou comest in thy kingdom. Jesus mm -hmm. looked around and looked at him and said, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He could have acted up like the other one, but he was humble. I can imagine him look at Jesus, see the pain and the agony, and he was saying to himself, imagine he's praying for those people who put him there. What a man. This is no ordinary man. But the other one was so full of himself, he couldn't see anything. He was blind physically and spiritually. And so he couldn't see anything. But thank God there is always one. And as he cried out for mercy, Jesus repeated these words to him. Today thou shalt be Hallelujah. I can imagine. Hallelujah. When that thief shut his eyes. When death take him, he was rejoicing mm -hmm. because he was in the arm of the Savior. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. As we reflect on the seven word of the cross, hallelujah, it was for us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In response to the man, Jesus, in response to the man, repentance, and faith, Jesus told him, truly I tell you today, you shall be with me in paradise. My brothers and sisters, may I say to us, salvation comes when we put our faith in Christ alone. And that's what this criminal did. Hallelujah. Yeah. He didn't have an opportunity to follow the Lord while he was unhurt. Hallelujah. He didn't have that opportunity, hallelujah, to follow the Lord or to be obedient to God when he was up and down doing his thing. Nevertheless, he did exactly what was required in order to be reconciled to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We have to understand that as Christians, hallelujah, we sin when we know not. But when we cry out to God, because the psalmist said, cry unto me, and I will answer, I will hear, and I will mm -hmm. answer. When we cry out to God in obedience and in faith and in, humi in humility, Christ responds to us, hallelujah. And that's what this thief did. Hallelujah. Number three, woman, behold thy son, St. John 19, 26 through to 27. Go ahead and read. St. St. John 19, 26, 27. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciple who he loved standing by. He said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her to his own home. Hallelujah. Think about it, mothers. Or even fathers too. Your son hanging, uh, almost near to death. How would you feel? 
Can you imagine how Mary felt? Hallelujah. Can you imagine how Mary felt? But Jesus hanging there said, Woman, behold thy son. And the Bible said there standing by the cross were four women who had followed Jesus, including his mother, Mary, looking at his looking down at his mother, he said these words, Hallelujah. When Jesus repeated these words, oh Mary must have felt. But Jesus fulfilled his obligation to care for his widowed mother. Mm -hmm. He said to John, the son of Zephedee, the author of the book of the gospel, Behold thy mother. And he told his mother that John was now her son. So John, the disciple he loved, take Mary and look after her. From then on. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Jesus could have called for his other brother, but Jesus chose to call on John, mm -hmm. the beloved. Yeah. Take care of her. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus speaking from the cross, he was in pain. Remember, he was. 100% man in the flesh. So he mm -hmm. felt every pain. Hallelujah. The fourth word Jesus speak from the cross is taken from Mark 15 and verse 34 and also Matthew 27 and verse 46. Mark 15 verse 34 and Matthew 27 verse 46. Mm -hmm. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That was from Mark 15. 34, mm -hmm. Matthew 27, verse 46. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Amen. Jesus was crying out to his father, but his father could not respond to him. When the sin, the darkness of mm -hmm. sin was upon him, he cried out. The sins of the whole world was upon Jesus. Mm -hmm. From noon until about three in the afternoon, the Bible said darkness over the land. Then Jesus cried out loudly in despair, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why, are you, why have you forsaken me? Thus quoting and fulfilling Psalms 22 and verse 1, Jesus experienced the horrible abandonment of his father. God poured out his rod and his son as he bore the sins of the world. Hallelujah. Glory mm. to God. Jesus bore our sin and Calvary. Mm -hmm. It was midday, but it was as black as two o'clock in the, in the night. Hallelujah. Because of the sin. He was fully God, but he was fully man. But the, the, the sins, the sin is, is, is not pretty. The weight, the load that came down on him caused him to cry out. Hallelujah. 
that Jesus took the test. Hallelujah. And thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Although it was hot, although his father turned his back, can you imagine? God could not look at his son. He heard his cry Jesus, Jesus, and he could Jesus. not respond for us. That's so much he loved us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel Jesus, God all over Jesus, me. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you, Lord. I will weep no more for the cross that he bore, but I will glory in the cross. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Imagine as a baby, your child get a cut or your child is hurting and crying out to you and you cannot reach your child to, to, to offer comfort. Hallelujah. Your child is in pain and you stood there and you cannot do anything. That's what Jesus was going through. His father was right there, but could not do anything. God don't like sin, and so he turned his back from sin. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fifth word that Jesus spoke from the cross is in John 19 and verse 28. St. John 19 and verse 28. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, Hallelujah. said, I thirst. Hallelujah, thirst. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! When Jesus knew that his mission was completed and that he had endured the wrath of God and fully atoned for the sins of the world, he said, I thirst. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Thanks to Calvary. Jesus. Thanks to Calvary, I'm not the girl I used to be. Thanks to Calvary, things are different yes. than before. Hallelujah. Jesus cried out, I thirst. Understand that Jesus is water, is fire. Hallelujah. But Water is crying out that he is thirsty. Hallelujah. Because of us. The songwriter said, he gave me water. Hallelujah. But yet he cried out, I thirst. I thirst. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He knew that everything is now accomplished. And he knew that they were going to run for vinegar and gall. Hallelujah. He knew. Hallelujah. That what he has come on earth to do was accomplished. So he cried out to his father. I thirst. He wasn't crying out to them. The Bible said they run with a sponge and they dip it into gall and vinegar. And they push it up because he was lifted. Can you imagine? Jesus was nailed to the cross. But they have to lift him high. They lift him high in a way that 
they have to put the sponge and stick to push it all the way up. So even when he was on the cross, he was lifted high. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He cried out, I thirst. Hallelujah. Glory to God for us. Hallelujah. Jesus. And the sixth word, Jesus said, from John 19 and verse 30. Hallelujah. St. John 19 and verse 30. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, Hallelujah. he gave up his spirit. It is finished. Man redemption is paid for in full. Hallelujah. Is the his work of atonement for sin was done. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. The demand of the law has been met. The debt for sin had been paid in full. Jesus has proclaimed, no one take my life. I lay down by myself. Hallelujah. He laid down himself. And because he had laid down by himself. Hallelujah. The seventh word was from St. Luke 23 and verse 46. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. St. Luke 23 and verse 46. Hallelujah. And when Jesus had cried out with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Hallelujah. Mission accomplished. Amen. Nobody take his life. He gave it up all by himself for us. He said, Father, into your hand. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I commit my spirit. I trust you enough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible said the temple was, the, the, the veil in the temple Hallelujah was rending too from the middle. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You know how thick that veil was. Hallelujah. <laughs> but it was rending too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Jesus, Jesus. Our redemption is paid for in full. We are free, free to worship. Hallelujah. We have a right to praise God. We have a right to serve our God because of what he did for us on Calvary. The songwriter penned the word, I will weep no more for the cross that he bore, but I will glory. You and I will continue to glory in the cross. Because the cross makes a difference for us. Yes. Hallelujah. It's because of Calvary why we have a hope. That one day we will be with them in heaven. It's because of Calvary. Yes. And Jesus come and lay down his life. And take it up back again. We would have no hope. But thanks be Amen. to God that he did not stay in the tomb. But the Bible said, after he has given up his life, they took the body down. Hallelujah. There was Stephen with his tomb. Wrap Jesus, place him in that new tomb. Can imagine Jesus was there. He went down to hell. 
And he looked at the devil and he said, give me the key. Hallelujah. <laughs> he knocked on the door and they said, who is that? He said, I am the king of glory. Open up the door. I am the resurrected one. Hallelujah. Open up the door and let the king of glory come in. Hallelujah. They respond, who is the king of glory? Hallelujah. The Lord of all. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord yes. mighty in battle. Yes. Oh, glory to God. The Bible says on the third day, in verse the two, and he rise again. Nobody have to roll that stone away from the grave. <laughs> Jesus Christ came out that even the guards fell dead. <laughs> he is the resurrected Savior. He lives today and forevermore. Amen. And he's coming back again. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Not as a babe, not to give his life. Hallelujah. But to come for us who has been faithful and being obedient. Hallelujah. Amen. Who believe in his death and burial. May the Lord continue to bless us, continue to shine upon us yes. as we continue to meditate mm. upon his word, Amen. knowing that he loved us with an everlasting love. We are sealed with the blood of Jesus. It's because of the blood why we are alive and well. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When we trust the Lord, hallelujah, we can make it through the storm. Mm. Hallelujah. He raised from the dead. He has the key of death and of hell. Hallelujah. He said all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Mm. Hallelujah. He is our God, the resurrected Savior. Jesus. The Lord richly bless you. As you go to your different places of our board. Hallelujah. May he keep his hands upon us. Mm. Hallelujah. May we stay under his umbrella. Let nothing detour us from serving the Lord. Yes, Amen. Lord. Help Thank us to be Jesus. as the wise virgin. Yes. Who always Lord have Jesus. oil in their mm. lamb. Amen. Not as the foolish one. Because he's coming back again. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And give you peace. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He paid a debt. He Thank did you, not Jesus. owe. Hallelujah. I owed a debt. I could Amen. not pay. Hallelujah. I needed someone. Jesus. To wash my sins away. Hallelujah. And now I sing a brand new song, oh, Amazing Grace. Christ you. Jesus paid a debt that I could never pay. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. That's a good one.